Hi, I'm Lois Fuller Thornton. My parents were Marjorie and Emery Thornton. I had a brother, Walter Thornton, who was in the Air Force. He was in an accident and 40, died at 41. Uh, my, the home that we were in was built in 1903 by the Millers. It was a lumber yard area. And my mom married Mr. Miller. They had a child they lost. And then he passed away. And my, my dad, Emory Fuller, came home from World War I. He had grown up in Marshall, Minnesota. But he met my mom and they were married in 1923. And they started a resort. I don't know what the time of that, but they had a end result. They had five cabins and they had five rooms in the lodge. My mom did all the cooking for it. My dad did all the outdoor work. We had a, a farm, you might say, too. We had cows and chickens. One time we had a pig. And I had a bugle and I had to go practice down by that pig, get away with the noise away from the resort. But we had a huge garden and we had people coming from all over, Illinois, Kansas, Puerto Rico, and the like. And it was it was a it was the best place in the world to grow up. Yep. So repeating yes, myself, my mom served meals and she could have a maximum of maybe thirty-five people and she could have maybe eight people on the back porch having their meal afterwards. She did all the cooking, and originally it was done on a cook stove, including the breakfast of pancakes and bacon and eggs and so on. She made her own pies, crusts out of lard. She made her own uh, bread, and she was renowned in the cooking department. She was a great cook, just a great cook. And my dad, I did the outside chores, and he also guided people in fishing. In fact, he had a couple old pals, one from uh, Nebraska and one from Iowa that he fished with for years. And they were out on the bar fishing, and they were casting, and they were kind of talking and smoking their cigars and pipes. And all of a sudden, they heard this splash in front of my, in the back of my dad, who was on the oars. And they looked around and there was about a 17 pound northern, or yes, a northern, that jumped in the boat. And my dad said to uh, Cunningham, he said, Cunningham, did you get that fish? And he said, no, Fuller, I didn't get it. He said, well, it jumped in the boat. <laughs> so they get done fishing and they go into the shore and ordered the other guy who decided not to go fishing with him, said, how'd you do? Well, we only got one, really. Well, that's too bad. No, it wasn't. You never know how it happened. He said, I suppose it jumped in the boat. And he said, that's exactly what happened. So Dad did guided when he could. Um, I, I think that's a pretty good summary of, uh, of our place. Uh, I don't know the year they, they stopped on it, uh, uh, managing it or running it, but it was a wonderful life. We got an exposure to wonderful clientele. And we got in on a lot of things. I learned to water ski by Richie's next door. And it was super. That's why I, that Minnesota people are so strong. And that's why we, that's the way we live. Thank you. Great.